Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you know, we have been talking about the Toyota Land Cruiser coming back to North America, and that is definitely the most exciting news, but there could be several other models coming to our market in the next 12 months that could be just as exciting as a Land Cruiser. What are they? Well, let's get right into all of the SUVs and trucks that are arriving in the next 12 months or so for Toyota and Lexus brand, because there's a lot coming up. Let's get right into it. Welcome back. So even though we are all very much looking forward to the Land Cruiser returning to North America market, well, there could be some additional models that are just as important and just as exciting. So I'm going to break that up into four different categories. Trucks, unitized body SUVs, body on the frame SUVs, and pure electric vehicle. I'm really just going to focus on predicting only the trucks and SUVs for Toyota and Lexus brand that are arriving sometime in the next 12 months or so as a 2024 or potentially 2025 model year because there's not too many news on the car side. We've already seen the Toyota Prius being introduced and Toyota Crown is a bit of old news. So the most exciting part of the 2023 calendar year are definitely the SUVs and trucks and those are stuff that you guys are very excited about anyway. So let me start off with the truck category. And this one is pretty straightforward because most of us have been talking about the new generation Toyota Tacoma for a while now. And that is definitely going to happen sometime in the next 12 months or so. All new Tacoma truck based on a slightly smaller version of the TNGA F platform that are being used for the Toyota Tundra and Sequoia and alike. And that is definitely going to happen in 2023 calendar year as a 2024 model year. We obviously don't know exactly when the introduction is. I would expect based on my own prediction that the new Tacoma will be introduced or revealed sometime in summer of 2023 as a 2024 model year with all new chassis, all new body, uh, obviously much improved interior and very likely with a new 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. And I know that for many of you guys losing the V6 and getting the 2.4 turbo four isn't the most exciting news but that's the trend of the whole industry. Even the mid-size GM trucks have abandoned V6 engine. So obviously this is going to be the newest trend that's going to continue on with all of the truck market in the future. So the new Tacoma will have a whole new body, improved chassis because it's based on the more rugged and much stiffer TNGF platform, but it's going to also gain a lot of new technology and new future stars simply lacking on existing Tacoma. You may or may not remember that I've owned a 2018, a 2019 Toyota Tacoma in a variety of different trims, including the TRD Pro, and I really like that truck, but it does feel a little bit outdated. So I do welcome this new truck from Toyota, even though I do agree that losing a V6 and only having the 2.4 turbo could spell a bit of a trouble for, for loyal fans who really like that proven V6 engine. But we'll have to wait and see how that thing is going to perform and if it's going to produce better fuel efficiency without sacrificing performance, perhaps it's still a good news after all. If you're wondering if Toyota will introduce a fully electric version of the Tacoma, it's very possible, but I don't think that's going to happen in 2023 calendar year because I think they're still working through a lot of technology changes for the Tacoma and most likely a fully EV version won't come out for another couple of years or so. So that's the Tacoma news. Anything else happening on the truck side? Well, I think Tundra Trail Hunter will come out sometime in the next 12 months as well. This rugged top of the line off-roader from Toyota has been shown already at different auto shows. So there's no surprise that Toyota is preparing to introduce the highest version of the off-roader in the form of a Tundra called a Tundra Trail Hunter. So that should probably come out sometime in the next six months or so. And maybe when the new Tacoma comes out, they will also introduce the Tacoma Trail Hunter, but that could be pushed out because they really want to introduce the Tundra Trail Hunter and Tacoma Trail Hunter at the same time. So most likely Tundra will come out first, followed by Tacoma Trail Hunter, maybe in the following year. Now let's move on to predictions for unitized body SUVs. So these are not body on the frame SUVs. And this is the easiest one to predict because Toyota has already officially teased about the 2024 Grand Highlander, which should be revealed during the Chicago Auto Show in the first week of February. So that one we already know a lot about because it's based on Highlander. We know the chassis and the basic body is the same. It's being stretched out and also you'll come with a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, most likely exclusively with the hybrid version which is called the Hybrid Max. And that one is going to be built at the Princeton, Indiana factory where existing Highlanders are produced. And what would the Grand Highlander look like? 
Well, at least we know what the rear will look like because that's being teased by Toyota officially, but we obviously don't know what the front will look like. I suspect the front will have a very different design from the existing Highlander because Grand Highlander has to have its own character, personality, and presence above and beyond Highlander. And since the Grand Highlander is being revealed at the Chicago Auto Show in February, we can expect that model to arrive in a dealership a few months later, sometime June, July time frame. So that's a very important model for Toyota. But there's also the Lexus equivalent or Lexus counterpart to the Grand Highlander, which is going to be called a Lexus TX, most likely to be called a TX550. And there has been some rendering produced by Best Car Magazine in Japan. But as you know, I also did a rendering in terms of predicting what it might look like. We don't know exactly what it will be like, but it will be different from Grand Highlander because Lexus version has to have more upscale design and feel. If history is any indication, most likely the Lexus version of this Grand Highlander model will come out three to four months after the Grand Highlander. So probably introduction in maybe April, May time frame with a final arrival at the dealership end of the year. And for Lexus dealerships and for Lexus as a whole, this is perhaps one of the most important model because they have all been asking for a true three row SUVs for a long time and it's finally arriving. So Grand Highlander and Lexus TX, both of them will play a very important role in the market as a big SUV with a real usable three rows of seats and both arriving in 2023 calendar year, both being introduced in Princeton, Indiana factory. Anything else in the unitized body SUV market that's coming from Toyota or Lexus? Well, we have already seen the introduction of the RX, so that's uh, old news now. And we're hearing rumors about all new version of the Toyota RAV4, but I think that's a year later on, so sometime in 2024 calendar year, not to happen in the next 12 months or so. But that one obviously is going to be important news. Now, Toyota is also supposed to be introducing other variations of the Crown series, including this beautiful Porsche Macan-like uh, SUV called the Crown Sport, as well as even a better looking uh, station wagon version of the Crown called the Crown Estate. But I'm not quite convinced that these models will arrive in North America for 2023 calendar year. Uh, they might be introduced in Japan this year, but likely next year for us. Uh, also, there are some rumors about this amazing flagship Toyota Century SUV, but I'm almost 100% certain that will not be unveiled this year. So that's the unitized body SUV. Now we can move on to body on the frame SUV, which is one that really interests you. And it's one that we've been talking about, including the arrival of the Land Cruiser Prado in North America. Even though there aren't much details about this and nothing official from Toyota, there has been a lot of rumors about the Land Cruiser. And as you know, I was the very first YouTuber slash media to predict the Land Cruiser that's coming back to North America is the Land Cruiser Prado version, which is smaller compared to Land Cruiser 300 series. And I'm still going to stick with that story because now we're hearing more and more rumors from other media outlets who are saying, yes, that seems to be the right story. It is a Prado coming back and not the larger 300 series. Now we could be very wrong about this and Toyota could still bring the 300 series version, but maybe the content version for North America. But you know what, based on my prediction and my investigation, that is not going to happen. I really do think you'll be a Land Cruiser Prado, potentially with either the detuned 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine or the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder. I know that some people are predicting it's going to be 2.4 turbo, and I'm kind of predicting that it could still be the 3.4 twin turbo V6. Well, you know what, it's 50-50 chance either way. So we'll have to wait and see how that evolves. But either way, obviously we're very excited because the Land Cruiser name is coming back to North America, whether it's actually the 300 series or the Prado, hey, I don't really care. It's coming back here, both for US and Canada, and that is one of the best news for 2023 calendar year. But I think it'll be much later in the year when this will be introduced. My prediction is that maybe it'll be revealed sometime in the fall of 2023, for 2024 model year, or maybe even push back a month or two beyond that. Now keep in mind that it is a global model. The Prado is sold in Japan, Asia, and many other parts of the world. So most likely it'll be a world premiere or world reveal when it finally comes out officially from Toyota. I think that'll be sometime in the fall of 2023. So we still got a long way to go. Lots of predictions that we have to still make and I will continue to work on it and also come up with a rendering for this Land Cruiser Prado in terms of what it might look like. So keep an eye on my channel for that because this is obviously one of the most important news for all of us who love truck and SUV for Toyota and Lexus. Which brings us to the question, will Lexus still introduce the new version of the Lexus GX? 
as you know i just bought a 2293 lexus gx and i'm inside this model right now i love it because of the proven and reliable and really really gorgeous v8 engine that but unfortunately, I think the new GX is coming in 2023 calendar year alongside the Land Cruiser Prado. And therefore, this V8 engine will be gone and removed and replaced with a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6, most likely with a hybrid engine. And so that's going to be a big change for GX. But there should be all new GX introduced a few months after Land Cruiser Prado. So let's say Land Cruiser Prado is introduced to the world in September, October time frame. Maybe then the all new Lexus GX could be introduced in December of the 2023 calendar year. So the fall could be very busy with the Land Cruiser Prado and Lexus GX. And I do believe that both of those new models will come to North America in addition to being a world premiere and a world debut. I know that many of you guys said it wouldn't make any sense to have the Land Cruiser Prado and then also have the Lexus GX as new models in addition to the existing 4Runner. But as you know, Toyota has been playing this strategy for a while now because we have RAV4, we have Toyota Venza, and we still have a Lexus NX all sharing the same platform within a very similar price range because Toyota is trying to corner this very important growing SUV market with one, two, three punch. Toyota 4Runner, which is existing model, new Land Cruiser Prado, and new Lexus GX. That will corner the market in the body on the frame area, which is really important because as you know, Ford Bronco and even the existing Jeep Wrangler really have that market cornered for now. And Toyota has to work hard to capture some of that important off-road market. So even though there appear to be a lot of overlapping between Toyota and Lexus, both in terms of new model and existing model, well, that's exactly what Toyota want because they want to cover every single segment in that price range with three models catering to wide demographic so they can really capture the biggest market in the important profitable segment. I think those are really the most important news for the body on frame SUVs with nothing else coming in 2023 calendar year. Although I keep asking why Lexus hasn't introduced the hybrid version of the Lexus LX600. So who knows, maybe that will happen sometime in the next 12 months as well. The last category is the most difficult one to predict, and that is a fully electric model. We already have the BZ4X, although that model has some hiccups as it was introduced because of some recalls. So is there anything else coming up in 2023 calendar year or over the next 12 to 14 months? Well, there has to be a larger version of the BZ4X that has to be introduced to the market because people are really wanting a larger fully electric SUV. If we're kind of following this Toyota's nomenclature, they kind of make sense that after BZ4X, you'll be the BZ5X. Now, there has been a lot of rumor that Toyota could be reinventing a full EV strategy. So who knows, the BZ5X or whatever it might be called might not happen in 2023. But I still think that that could happen in the next 12 months because having a larger fully electric SUV is very important for Toyota. Could there also be a Lexus version of the BZ5X or whatever it might be called? Yes, very possible, but that could be three, six months after introduction of something like a BZ5X. So perhaps that will be into 2024 calendar year. I kind of really want to focus on what's happening next 12 months or so. So let's quickly summarize here. In terms of the truck market, there should be all new Tacoma that should be reviewed in the next six months or so, along with the possibility of the Tundra Trail Hunter. And then in terms of unitized body SUV, there should be the Grand Highlander that will come out very soon and its companion model or counterpart model, Lexus TX that should come out a few months after that. And in terms of body on the frame SUVs, we should have the Land Cruiser Prado along with the Lexus GX that should all come out toward the end of 2023. And finally, Toyota could be introducing a BZ5X or basically larger version of the BZ4X sometime in 2023 calendar year as well. So there are a lot of new models coming out in the next 12 months or so, and every single one of them will play a very important role for Toyota and Lexus. And for those of us who love Toyota, Lexus models and trucks and SUVs, wow, 2023 calendar year could be one of the most exciting year ever. So what do you guys think of all these new models that are coming out in the next 12 months or so? Are you excited? Are you disappointed? Are you curious? Let me know what you're thinking and your questions and comments below. And if you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be truly appreciate it because I will keep bringing you fresh ideas and fresh predictions about what is happening in 2023 calendar year. But until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.